Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape Clutch.co to get leads for your agency or whoever you might be doing outreach for. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. So I don't want to, I don't want to gas anything, I'm just going to show you guys the two methods that I know of. Um, one of them is a method that is completely free. Um, it does, or at least free if you use a trial, but it's a little bit annoying to do and I'm going to show you guys another method that's a lot easier, but that one is behind a paywall. Okay, so getting right into it, for those of you who aren't familiar with Appify, uh, Appify is a platform that allows you to host scrapers and other people can sell their scrapers and it has all sorts of little scripts on it. Uh, for those of you guys who've seen my Apollo video, that scraper does not work anymore and I actually have an updated video coming soon, but we actually do have another Appify scraper coming on the way. Now, a lot of people actually commented on that video and said that it's not actually free because you need to pay for Appify. Now, hypothetically speaking, you do need to pay for Appify. It is indeed not a charity, but you can just abuse trials and there's literally no way for them to know. So what we do personally is we have a catch all email account, right? For those of you who don't know, it just means that anything you put, like it's, you could put like John at you know the, the address, you could put Bob at the address, you could put any, anything you want and it'll all forward to one inbox. So you can basically create unlimited email accounts, right? And I'll show you guys that I sign up right now. Like I'll just put in, uh, this is for YouTube video at g or at aircoolmarketing.com this is one of my old agencies we're just going to put in this random password we're going to click sign up it's going to say welcome to appify uh we'll just put in like whatever just some random username just put in like a bunch of stuff and send the verification email and you can see that it came right here right boom this went if you look at to this is for youtube or this is for youtube video at aircool marketing but this email address is just Facebook at Aircool Marketing, and this is an entirely different address. That's how catch all works, right? And doing this, you can basically avoid, you know, the free trial and having to pay for it. And you click this, and boom, your email is validated, right? And now you are now able to use this tool. Now, for those of you guys who haven't heard of Clutch before, uh, Clutch is a database of a bunch of different companies, mostly marketing companies, and that's pretty much what I use it for. Um, I actually have a video of me launching a Clutch campaign on this channel. Uh, where I show like we literally signed four clients from 2,500 leads on clutch. So like, it's definitely a great platform for you to do outreach on. Right. And the reason why it's such a great platform is you can segment based on the fact they are on clutch and the, the fact that they're in a certain category. Right. So like if I were to message these, you know, PPC companies, I could say, Hey, you know, I saw you guys were on clutch. I know you guys do PPC and then blah, 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 pitch my offer. Right. So it's a very interesting angle and you can get creative with it. Right. For the offer that we ran in particular, uh, I remember we said something like, Clutch charges on a pay-per-click basis because that's how clutch.co actually makes their money. And we charge on a pay-per-call basis, which is what my agency's offer is, which I'll touch on that later. Um, you know, why pay pay-per-click when you can pay pay-per-call and it's basically risk-free for you and it's going to cost you like the same either way. So why don't you come work with us instead of clutch, right? And we ended up getting four clients from this, you know, which is pretty decent if you're only sending 2,500 emails. And yeah, it was a pretty good campaign. Now, what you want when you're scraping clutch is this right here, right? You want all of these websites. And when you scroll down, you'll see, you know, you have like roast and you have visit website. But the thing is that visit website call to action is not always present, right? Or it is present for these ones, but sometimes it's not there. Um, and in that situation, the second solution is actually able to get their, get their website. But the first one is not, but I'll show you guys the first one first. Okay. So what it is, is you're going to go to, you know, Appify right here. You're going to go to the store and you're just going to search for clutch, right? And I believe it's this one right here, clutch.co scraper. Uh, yeah, it's this one, 100%. So just remove this thing that says API, right? Make sure this is on profiles. Then come down here and it says maximum number of listing items. You can just put like a bunch here, or I think if you just put nothing, it'll scrape everything. Yeah. Default is all. So we'll just turn off all of these settings and then the start URL is just the URL that you want to scrape, right? Which is this one. And then you'll click add, you come down here, you click save and you can start, right? And you actually have to pay for this actor, but you get a trial on the actor as well. So you're able to basically just trial it. And then when, when it's done, just make a new account, right? And you can basically start running the actor and you'll see right away. This is kind of like the reason why Appify is so convenient. Um, everything is on the platform. So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. Everything is just perfect, right? It all runs in the, in the cloud, right? 
But the main problem with specifically this Appify script, it's not necessarily an Appify problem, but it's more an Appify script, is that the actual code misses a lot of the leads, right? So that's kind of one of the big, big problems here. And I'm gonna give it, or here, it's already started, right? And as you can see, it's already crawled seven pages, and on those seven pages, it's only found two leads, right? Which is obviously um, a little bit disappointing, you could say, right? That if you're only finding, you know, 60 pages and a couple of leads, it's not necessarily so good. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna unpause this video, and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so now we're back, right? I wanna show you guys that I only let it run for, for a little bit, but you can see that it ended up doing 40 requests, meaning it went through 40 pages, and on those 40 pages, we ended up finding nine results, right? So that's obviously not right, right? If you go to, you know, two clutch, and then this is one page. Like if you, if you scroll down, these are all companies, and this is all one single page. Meaning there's definitely a little bit of a miscalculation there because if, if you go to 40 pages like this and you only find nine leads, there's obviously some sort of problem, okay? Now, there's not really anything you can do about that. Um, you know, the script is just broken. It's not an Appify problem, by the way, just for any of you wondering. It's just a problem specifically with this actor, which is like this, this script. So you can't really do anything about it. Now, this is not really optimal. I mean, you could still scrape a decent amount of leads if you were to do it. But I'm going to show you guys the next method. And the next method is the good one. That's the one where you're going to be able to scrape everything. And it's a lot quicker. Okay. Now, the main two problems is obviously one that, you know, it's not scraping properly because there's only nine results out of 40 pages, but then there's also usage. Now it only says three cents here because I only scraped nine leads, but as you can imagine, you know, if you were to scrape say 10 leads or not 10 leads, sorry, like a thousand leads or 10,000 leads, that'd be like 40 or $400, right? Which when that could just be one single lead list, it's going to start getting very pricey, especially because you're not even getting decision makers yet. You're only getting website links, right? So it's like a little bit of a problem. Now, the next version isn't going to have any of these problems, so let's just get into it. Now, for those of you who don't already know, uh, I actually just recently started a paid community. It's called Lead Academy. Uh, that community is only 49 bucks a month. It's nothing crazy. There's no commitment to it. And we basically just go over, I mean, first of all, we have weekly coaching calls in there where you can talk to either me or my partner, Tyler. He's also, you know, very knowledgeable in lead gen. And we have, you know, resources about cold emails. There's like, at the moment, like 10 hours of content in terms of like course material, you know, we talk about cold email scripts, cold email setups, sales calls, onboardings, everything there is to talk about when it comes to cold outbound and scaling a company with email and or any other cold channel. Okay. And we have that there. Now, what we're doing right now is we actually just made a custom scraper that we're going to be sharing with everybody in Lead Academy. By the time you're watching this video, it's already going to be in there. So if you are interested, you can join that and you'll have the opportunity to use the scraper that I'm about to show you. Okay. Now, this is how it looks behind the scenes. All I have to do is just CD on this specific folder and then NPM start. And it basically opens up and here we are. And it's going to ask me what I want to scrape. Now from here, it's super simple. Uh, this looks a little bit complicated, but I, I promise you guys, once you know how to use it, it's, it's, it's a piece of cake, right? All you do is you come here and you come to the page that you want, right? So for example, just like PPC agencies, and you basically just tell it how many pages you want to scrape and what you want to scrape. So I'm just going to do like 10 pages just as an example. You come in here, you paste it, space 10, and click enter. So what it's going to do is behind the scenes, it's actually crawling these websites and it's scraping everything that you need. So you can see right away, 56, 56, 56, 56, 56. The reason it's specifically 56 is because that's the amount of leads that Clutch puts on every single page, right? And what it's doing now is it's just verifying that all of these things actually exist. Because I mentioned that some of them don't have a website, but with this script, it's going to specifically go and make sure it has a website, okay? And you'll be able to see if I come in here right now and I go to Clutch Scraper uh, to, I believe it is, yeah, Clutch Export. And if I put this in Visual Studio Code, which is a code editor, you can actually see that there's being, the links are being added in real time right now, right? So as you can see, like these links are being scraped. And then this is a CSV file. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to simply open up something like Sheets, right? Or Excel, whatever you, whatever you use. And then come in here, put in the export just like this. And then once the export is in here, it'll load in. Okay, there it is. It took a little bit to load in, but now you can see that all of these websites that were just on Clutch, you now have their links, right? And now you can take these links and go put them into something like Apollo, right? Which I'll actually show real quick. 
Okay, so now you'll be able to come here, right, right into Apollo. Uh, you'll be able to come here, take all of these links of these companies that you just got from Clutch, okay? Then come back into Apollo. We can put those into the company section, right? Plop those in, and then boom, 15,000 people who work at all of those companies, right? And then you basically go filter based on decision makers. So it's only showing you the CEO and the people who are applicable. And just like that, you have the opportunity to go and find all of these people. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, I'm going to have an Apollo scraper video up soon. That's also already in lead Academy. So if that is something that you want urgently, you can always find it in there or just check out the YouTube channel. I'll show you guys how to scrape Apollo for very, very cheap soon as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you are interested in using this tool, then you can just go to discord.gg slash lead academy, or it's going to be the first or second link in the description uh, in there. Again, it's 49 bucks a month. You get a bunch, you get a ton of value. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And by any chance, if you just want all of this done for you and you don't want to be the one scraping your leads on your own and you just want it on a paper qualified call basis, meaning we book you in the appointment and you only pay us. If the person shows up, the person is a decision maker, the person wants your service and they're qualified by whatever metrics you have, including revenue, headcount, or certain technology, we can do that for you. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some value. And if you did, like and subscribe. It's a small channel, so I really do notice every single person and we'll go from there. Bye-bye.